In this video, we're going to troubleshoot an HP laptop trackpad mouse no longer working. It could be multiple issues, but we'll work our way from the easiest to the most complex. But I can almost guarantee that I'll get your mouse to work again today. So let's start with the most easiest one. You've probably have already done it, but if you haven't, restart the HP. Unplug it, plug it back in, restart it, and then see if your mouse works. It might just be a simple thing where you just needed to restart it. Okay. If that didn't solve the problem, and again, this will work with any HP Pavilion, Elite Book, whatever model you have, a stream. So next, what I want you to do is on your keyboard, on the very bottom, you should have a function key, an FN key. And then on top here, above your numbers, is your function keys, F1 through F12. So look on here for a logo that looks like a trackpad on your function keys. If you see something that looks like a logo of a tracking pad, I want you to hold down the function key and then hit the, the key that looks like the trackpad. The reason I say I don't know which one is because on HPs it varies. Sometimes it's the F5 key, sometimes it's the F9. If it doesn't have any logo, you might just have to try every key. Hold down the function and try every key and then see if you can get your trackpad mouse to work. Now, if that doesn't work, on a lot of HPs, especially the Elite Books, you have on the trackpad here, you have a little button here. And sometimes it's invisible. But what I want you to do is hit it twice. It's one, two on the upper left of the trackpad. And sometimes you'll see like a little keyhole there. You hit it, and if you hit it, maybe orange. And orange usually means it's deactivated. So you just have to tap it twice to make that orange button go off or it may not have a, an orange button, just go ahead and, and tap it twice and then see if your trackpad will work on your HP. Now, after you've tried that, what I want you to do, and you'll have to use your tab button, but while your Windows is open, on the very bottom left, you have like a search that here where you can type in touchpad. Now, of course, your mouse doesn't work, but usually you can hit the tab button, the T-A-B on your upper left of your keyboard tab to where you get to where you can type something type in touchpad and then get to mouse settings once you get to click on well hit enter to get on mouse settings because you'll have to use the arrow key and then from there what you're going to do is if it says touchpad on make sure touchpad is on if it's off click and make sure it's turned on okay so after you try that what I want you to do now is to do a run command and you've probably done this before it's basically run what you're going to do is hold down your Microsoft key and hit R to get to run and when you get to the run I want you to inside the run I want you to type control C O N T R O L that's going to take you to the control panel so on the control panel I want you to tab down to where it says hardware and sound and then hit enter and then I want you to click mouse properties and then after that click additional mouse options and then make sure that the touchpad is enabled you might have to click it and then if it's not click it and then restart it restart the whole laptop okay after you try that you're going to go back into run to get into device manager so again hold down the Microsoft key and then hit R to get to run type in devmgmt.msc in run hit enter and it's going to take you to device manager so I want you to look for it says mice and other pointing devices you might have to hit down or hit the tab button and I want you to hover over the pointing device you just have to hit enter to get to your different devices and then you're going to right click but of course you don't have a mouse so to right click you hover over it and then you hold down the shift button plus F10 to right click and then uh, you might have to go down use your arrow key to go down and then right click or yeah just enter properties and then go to update driver and then hit enter to update driver you have to be connected to the internet or the Wi-Fi but hit enter and then and it might take a few minutes to update the driver for your mouse now if it's got like a little yellow key or a little yellow uh, icon by it it means it's unabled so again you just go over it and enable it to get that yellow uh, logo off and then restart your computer and then tell me if it works then 
and that will that right there will solve the majority of your issues next go into BIOS so turn your HP completely off you might have to unplug it if you have to force it off that's fine force it off when you turn it back on I want you to hit the F2 key you're basically going into BIOS on your HP it's F2 for most HP computers you're going into, into BIOS and then see if your mouse works and if it doesn't then it could be a hardware issue if it does work then you know it's a Windows issue with either Windows 10 11 7 whatever you have and so that's a good sign but it means that your hardware is not broken and so what I want you to do is while you're in BIOS you're going to look for advanced headings and you look you're going to look for internal pointing device touchpad trackpad and you want to make sure it's enabled in BIOS and because it may have been deactivated in BIOS for whatever reason hit enter and then hit F, it's usually F10 to save and log out and then tell me if your mouse works now if for whatever reason it doesn't work your hardware is broken this is a simple fix and you may not have thought of that but just get you an internal you know an external mouse that you hook up to the USB it, it doesn't matter if it's wireless or if it's if it's connected to a wire to where you can plug into the USB the good thing about that is is you don't need a driver most most mouses you just plug into the USB it'll automatically recognize it and then you'll start being able, able to use your computer um, you may have one around laying in a closet in a drawer you know, on a desktop that you forgot about uh, or you could just go to the local Walmart or store they have them you know by the by the truckloads you can get one usually for 10 bucks and plug it up and see if it you know works then now for whatever reason you know that your hardware is actually the physical hardware in the laptop is broken you could take it to a repair shop you could do it yourself believe it or not it's not that difficult to do um, you just basically have to take this this track or you have to take this whole panel off here which is your palm rest and you can go on YouTube and usually find a t tutorial to do it I might actually link some of my videos up and then uh, replace this mouse just look for a model number and plug it into eBay and you could you could replace it but most likely if your laptops older you just might as well just use an external mouse like I did all right if I helped you make sure you let me know in the comment section which method worked for you for some of you, just maybe just simple hitting that function key or hitting the hitting the trackpad. Let me know and make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. All right, thanks for watching.